This Parkinson's Awareness Month, a former federal agent from Houston is sharing how lifestyle changes are making the disease a lot easier for him to deal with. Exercise plus a clinical trial have him given Parkinson's a one-two punch. One, two, three. Non-contact boxing is a high priority in Bobby Sherman's life. Three. So now I'll let it go and it offers great therapy. It's explosive movement, it's lateral and back and forth movement, it's uh, balance because you're blocking. All, all those things are, are great for Parkinson's. Bobby's first signs of Parkinson's disease began almost 10 years ago. Part of my job as a, as a federal agent is to have quarterly firearms qualifications. And part of the firearms qualification is a, um, a timed reload drill of a pistol. And I was having difficulty reloading. Uh, I couldn't get it done in time. I was dropping the magazine because I had a, a, a minor intermittent tremor. And that gradually started getting worse. Then Bobby says his foot began to drag. He couldn't swing his arm. His shoulders started slumping and he felt off balance. Since those are typical symptoms of Parkinson's, he was quickly diagnosed. Then he put a plan in place to knock out the symptoms. Physical therapy is important. You just can't rely upon the medication. You have to take ownership of the disease. Uh, you have to uh, stop feeling sorry for yourself and get on your feet and, and do something. And one of the things I did was get a boxing coach. It is actually a proven therapy with boxing groups of Parkinson's patients all over the country. Parkinson's is a loss of nerve cells, and the goal is to try to stop the loss plus regenerate those cells. Bobby's doctor, neurologist Maya Sheese with UT Health Houston, is proud of his progress. He's just a <laughs> lovely, beautiful, intelligent, dynamic person who embraces life so much. His attitude has made a huge difference, so he's not about to be stopped. Besides boxing, Dr. Sheese encourages Bobby and other patients to live a neuroprotective lifestyle, which means he exercises his body and brain, gets quality sleep, and eats healthy meals. Plus, Bobby joined a phase two clinical trial studying 45 patients with Parkinson's at UT Health. He had to undergo extensive screening and tests before and after it. It's the first of its kind, FDA approved in the nation, um, and we're actually just wrapping it up. Some individuals get placebo and some individuals get treated with donor um, mesenchymal stem cells derived from bone marrow. So these are very specific cells that react to inflammation in the body, preferably in our study, it's reacting to inflammation in the brain, which happens in Parkinson's disease. Bobby doesn't know if he got the stem cells or a placebo, but he and his wife Stacy believe he got the stem cells, which included six infusions. After the first one, we didn't see a lot, and we both would just kind of look at things and try to judge. After the second one, I noticed things like his vocabulary had improved significantly, that he was more engaged in conversation. I think he focused on some of the physical attributes that improved. I was focused on some of the mental and psychological ones. I was more surprised than anything else, and uh, I actually it gave me a stronger sense of hope because, in, in my mind at least, uh, the, the, there, were, there were easily distinguishable improvements uh, that, that I saw. I started noticing improvements and other people started noticing improvements. And when I say improvements, uh, my balance, again, my walk, all the main symptoms, uh, I had lost use of my right dominant hand, my right hand as far as writing and eating. I was defaulting to the left hand, which I'm not left-handed. And just out of the blue, one morning I'm eating breakfast with my wife and uh, I'm, I'm eating with my right hand again. So, I mean, that, that was the, the, the time, that was the moment I realized I'm, I'm not getting this placebo. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm getting the, uh, the real deal. Dr. Sheesh hopes the results of the clinical trial will be available by October. Meantime, this lovely couple fully believes in the treatment. They think it makes the future look brighter. Best way I could describe it is it's if somebody turned back his odometer on Parkinson's and it seemed like he was able to go back to a point in time of a much earlier level of the illness. And I think that's what we saw from the stem cells. Now Bobby can enjoy everything from walking his dogs to spending time in his man cave, reflecting on his days as a Houston police officer turned federal agent to his hobby of being a ham radio operator, enhancing his quality of life every day.
Good to see him. Oh, yes. He's just tackling it, That's isn't amazing. he? That's amazing. He's doing so well. Doctors believe the main causes of Parkinson's include toxic environmental risk like pesticides. Also, genetics can play a role, and just one head injury can put you at a higher risk of the disease. Mm -hmm. And then the doctor I interviewed said just aging puts mm -hmm. you at a risk as well. Oh, well, continued success for him. That's good to hear that he's doing better.